5.16 Why do developers of the Catalog of Human Population, Andre Davidov and Olga Skorbatuk, consider images the proto language? Because developers of the Catalog of Human Population, Andre Davidov and Olga Skorbatuk, get any kind of information about any representative of the biological type Homo sapiens precisely from images, which are hieroglyphically recorded in the ancient monument Shan Hai Jing. Shan Hai Jing. On this basis, it was concluded that natural images are that proto-language, which linguists have long been looking for. As it is known, proto-language is a language that is being reconstructed by linguists, it is the language of the earliest communities of Homo sapiens sapiens, modern humans, which had dialects already in Africa, 80 to 160 thousands of years ago. However, if it is also known that a human being, of any race, nationality and language group thinks in images, then, is an image not the proto-language of the existing population of Homo sapiens? Words in any language, are only a form of transmission of mental images. After all, a person who is deaf since birth does not hear words of any language, but this does not mean that he lacks the process of thinking. Unconscious of a human, his physiology, as well as human cells, do not understand the words of any language. If a cell would understand the language of words, geneticists would not have the following problem. How to talk to a cell? Cells understand each other, but they do not understand a human behind the apparatus for transmission of information to cells. Geneticists need a language that cells understand. However, this problem has not been solved to this day, since they already know that human cells communicate with each other by images, but exactly which images need to be transmitted to cells of a specific organism, they do not know. In conclusion, it is worth noting that the transition from hieroglyphics to phonographic language left words without images. An image is expressed by a word recorded by letters of an alphabet, and each person who says it, at the basis has his own, individual image that is different from the image of another person who uses that same word. The meaning, the essence, the same diapason of understanding with replacement of hieroglyphic writing with phonographic, by varying degrees destructurizes interpersonal relationships. The only culture that preserved hieroglyphic writing unchanged is the culture of China. By virtue of this, the ancient Chinese monument Shan Hai Jing, Shan Hai Jing, which in spite of everything was also preserved unchanged in this culture, was returned to civilization as the catalog of human population by its discoverer, researcher-sinologist Andrei Davidov, and his colleagues.